a house raised in justice to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also do. And over all these put on love, that is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, and the peace into which you are also called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another. Singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give thanks to God, the Father, through Him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To God. Upon him. 
the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Sunday we celebrate the feast of Holy Family, that is Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. On this day we offer our families, church family, and all members of our families to the altar of God for his blessing. The feast of the Holy Family reminds us that each family is called to holiness. All of the members of the whole family, therefore, are an example for each one of us, for each of our families. For example, Jesus was an obedient son. Mary was a loving and a caring man. Joseph was a good father figure to Jesus. They show us what kind of man and attitude we should have as a father. A family that works together. Families built on solid foundation of love. The love that is the same as the love which God has for each one of us. Love that does not perish with goods. And love that does not return, demand a return. Therefore, a whole family is made up of ordinary people like us but doing ordinary things to the best of their ability. A holy family means a whole, holistic, complete, fulfilled, and a unified family. It is a family that has a mutual respect for one another. A family that works together, plays together, prays together, and even sometimes fights and argues together. Unity comes from solving, resolving differences, and sometimes it takes an argument to accomplish this. But when this does happen, it must happen non judgmentally and respectfully, always keeping the dignity of self and the other person in front of us. Today's families are facing plenty of challenges and difficulties, partly because we are losing genuine love in the family. More and more today, people are more concerned about themselves and not about others. When members of a family start to put their own interest above that of others, then things will certainly not look good for the glory of that family. But if we persevere through prayer, patience, and trusting in God's help, we are able to pull through together and emerge out even stronger than ever before. Let us all try our best to model our families on the Holy Family, learning to love one another, to forgive each other, putting aside our differences, and let, letting go of anything that causes division or destruction to our families. May God's grace be with all the families and all those who love the Lord. He descended into hell, and 
the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, the life everlasting. Amen. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph were a family who trusted in God's love and care. With the same confidence, we present to God our needs and concerns. That Christians practice kindness and patience every day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the world value families, affirming all children will grow in wisdom and truly value the lessons learned from their parents, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That elderly parents be consoled and strengthened by caring and loving sons daughters and grandchildren, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the deceased of our parish community, especially for Jean Malik and Father Joe Auer, and for the intentions of the Masses, for Bernard Kucharski, Stephen Neville, Ted Bernaski, Danny Shiramanti, Bob Mahalik, Rosina Vuko, the parishioners of St. Alphonsus and St. Patrick Parish, Rose Yates, Vladislav Zuya, Angie Kiros, Marilyn Mason, Jerry Noda, Catherine Wozniak, Nancy Liptak, Trudy Hunter, and Mary Rita Seifer. And for those intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Faithful God, you offer us your Son, Jesus, that we might share your life. Hear our prayers and give us our from the same Christ, our Lord.
For in your mystery of the white man flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing to the hymn of your glory as we are playing. In a similar way, when supper was ended, to the chalice, and once more giving your thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of your drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of
Uh, the said yes, command and from the Bible by teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil. Grace us and grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we will be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessing of and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God, the glory of the Lord, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent our pastors, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and pray forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other some sign of God's peace. Announcements. Thank you for those who continue to support our parish. Donations may be made online via our website, or you may drop it off or mail it to the parish office. We appreciate your continued generosity. January 1st is the Solemnity of Mary and the Holy Day. Mass will be held on Thursday, December 31st at 4 p.m. at St. Alphonsus Church. And on Friday, January 1, at 9 a.m. at St. Patrick Church. Reservations are required and can be made on our website or by calling the parish office. On Monday, January 4th, 
The 7.30 a.m. daily morning mass will be held at St. Patrick Church and continue for the month of January. Join us Monday through Friday as we give thanks to God and begin our day by receiving the Eucharist. The parish office will be closed on Friday, New Year's Day, and will reopen on Monday, January 4, at 8 a.m. We wish you and your families a safe and healthy New Year. Let us pray. O most merciful Father, we pray that we may be as the Holy Father, in peace with you and one another. May this communion strengthen us to face the troubles of life. Grant us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth the master's hand. Thanks be to God.